Oops. All right. Welcome to Voices in the Wilderness, a 13th Age adventure. When we last left our heroes, they continued their rampage of talking diplomatically through the Empire. How can we be stopped? Who wants to catch up anybody who was absent last week? I was absent last week. Sounds All like the sensible people were. So you can imagine what happened. I'll just, talk to I'll just let you figure it out. There was a heated discussion about hot wings. Wait, was yeah. there actually? I missed the one episode where we're talking about hot wings. One of my favorite things in the freaking world. <laughs> it's, it wasn't very heated. It was more like a mild soy flavor. Oh, those wings. God suck. damn. <laughs> <laughs> None of you are eating Lissy's wings. I mean, I don't think that was the plan. I don't think anybody raised a uh, moral quandary about Lissy eating wings, though. I'm almost positive there's plenty of things in this universe that have wings that are non-sapient. <laughs> I mean... Lissy just drinks beer anyway. <laughs> That's her entire diet is beer. <laughs> She's on an alcohol-based diet. Oh, good lord, it's Bender the Bird. Her new... <laughs> Her new uh, melee attack is beer battered. <laughs> she just goes to the bar to eat the beer seeds. It, it, why, why is drunken master not the option there instead of beer battered? Because <laughs> <laughs> one, one is something that's real and the other is a dumb pun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're both dumb puns. What did you call me? Nothing, <laughs> Lissy. Good lord. Wow, we didn't even get five minutes before we were... Yeah, just completely <laughs> derailed. We didn't even get into... Uh, so, zero. what happened last week? Uh, I'm actually <laughs> struggling to remember. Um, we talked to Lockhart, got vague promises he's not involved, but that something could be rotten. We talked to Duh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we talked to uh... we didn't talk to Indra last week, did we? Um, no, I believe that was two. I believe Indra was two and Erwan was two weeks ago. Yeah, that that's one. what I'm having a hard time. Uh, Lissy and Malkesh had an awkward conversation. Yeah, it's. I believe that last was week was a little hard. shorter. So it was just Lissy and Malkesh and then Lockhart. Okay, let's see, that's where I was mixing it up with the week before. Then Carnifex got angry, there was a discussion about barbecue sauce, and that's, I believe, where it ended. Wow. Lissy's, Lissy and Malkesh's loyalty missions are still pending. I'm glad that was very useful to Hun Hao. I'll be honest, all I've retained out of that was that you talked to the giant chicken and barbecue sauce was involved. Wow, we're we're down this path again. <laughs> I'm <laughs> strapped <sorry. in> folks. <laughs> all right, yes, you You did talk to Lockhart and kind of cho and kind of got through it talking through it without a fight happening. Um essentially found out that he mostly, I, I believe was involved with kind of the effort to stop a crusade practice that may be coming back in vogue um, and warned current effects that kind of making taking this path would likely cause a rift between many factions in the crusade. Uh, and as such, current effects is going to have to start putting the groundwork into stopping that while the rest of the party figures out whatever the rest of the party needs to figure out. Um, if I, just to cut in, if I remember right, 
part of that was also finding out about the uh, that the forest lab that we found might have been or was Crusader based. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was remembering that correctly. But yes, we also found out about that. The one that was uh, clearly doing grafting experiments. And the feeling was no need to have a fight here because he seemed sincerely sorry. Uh, which leaves coming to the last bit of this empire cleanup, which is there's a democracy to build. We have what do you do? Too, as well. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. And that, I believe, is kind of the last step in that. Well, I imagine we have to talk to, like, everybody at once, don't we? And be like, hey, you're a democracy now? Yes, uh, you need to figure out a plan for how to do that. Yeah. Yep, because you got as far as you want to do it, and there's methods of it. But you haven't really spoken to Vaguna yet, though Indra assures you that it's a plan that she can help you with. And you have pretty much... in kind of agreeing and kind of not going to that fight... Uh, Lockhart has chosen to back you. Well, that's good. How am that's I still good. HR Director Malkesh? <laughs> I mean, you're still our Human Resources Director, aren't you? No. Then who is our Human Resources Director? I don't know. Do you really want the Necromancer to be your Human Resources Director? <laughs> yes, he's the most qualified for the position! You just got uh, skeletons yeah. running temp jobs all over the place. Our retention rate would be through the it, roof. I'd need to have a closer look at the baby. No, you stay away from the baby. Wait, what did we do with the baby? What did you do with the baby while I was gone? Well, you know that discussion about barbecue sauce, right? Oh, good lord. <laughs> just they both look at him and just he's with, she's with top men <laughs> and then we get the follow-up scene there's just like a baby carriage being wheeled into a warehouse full of other baby <laughs> carriages boss baby 2 flashes on the screen it's a sequel boss baby 2 emperor baby <laughs> Boss Baby's Day Out. Oh, good lord. Boss Baby 2, Hostile Takeover. <laughs> Boss Baby 3, Barbecue Sauce. <laughs> sauce Baby 1, Barbecue Baby. Boss Baby 4, Tokyo Drift. Okay! <laughs> I've missed this. All right, you have left the Crusader, but Carnifex has begun to make preparations to deal with this faction that's doing essentially patrols in the open sky uh, to ensure that the capital C Crusader uh, doesn't just come back and then there's a sees that as a coup between Crusade factions. Which Carnifex is fixing, right? Which he is putting groundwork in place for that. Because his player is not going to be here for a bit. Because his player is very far away from ground. Yes. Though I probably don't have to set this up since the last time his player went away, we got about a week and a half forward in fiction. Ah, we can do better this time. <laughs> he just comes back. Yeah, we finished the whole story. Sorry. Just give him an Animal House style ending. Yup. 
So, uh, Vaguna, I'm gonna let the two, the, there, there's now reasonable people here, so I'm gonna let you two take that. Wait, which one of us is reasonable? Ah, uh, that would be you and Gunhild. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, let's... Yeah, we should go talk to Vaguna. Yeah, let's take a moment before we enter that to kind of center and remind ourselves. What are you approaching Vaguna for? What do you want from her... What is the, the purpose of the scene? We are going to Viguna to uh, make fun of her silly name, uh, incite a civil war in the Empire, and uh, just completely derail uh, Dan's campaign, right? That's that's the goal? No. And that's usually it, yeah. Okay. No, we're going uh, to make fun of her silly name, to accuse her of crimes against the Empire, to execute her thusly, burn her at the stake as a witch, you know, all those things. Right. Okay. All right. Um. I'm. This. This character is now Jurgen. This is voices apparently. in the air, Jaeger. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Um. No. Okay. Serious. Now. We're going to uh, get her support to turn the empire into a democracy because of the dragon's blood that was uh, filtered through breadbasket, making everybody a viable heir to the uh, throne. Sound about right. That sounds right so. to me. Okay. Since all the heirs are dead, and there really isn't, you know, except for the the emperor. Yeah, the himself. infant emperor. Which, uh, real quick, legit. I know we made memes, but uh, what did we do with the baby? It, with Gregory. It's Gregory, Gregory. and uh, okay. Name. Um. Does anybody know that we're still holding onto the baby, or are we just keeping that a secret? Because I know we Indra did... knows. Okay, I do know we talked about. Indra adopting her and giving her a normal uh, childhood, right? You brought that up with her, yes. Okay. Sorry, I've been out for a bit. I'm just trying to remember where all the pieces lie. Yep, that's what I was trying to get us to do, but then we talked about barbecue sauce. We what's do that a favorite lot. Barbecue sauce? Gotta be honest, Famous Dave's. It's overplayed, but it's really good barbecue sauce. I mean, it's famous. It is. It's famous for a reason. Okay. So you are pretty easily able to kind of get her uh, audience since, well, she did give you the, it's the don't go too far. I need to figure out what's going on here. Um, and she would call you back to that uh, conference room in the Imperial Library. And I need to make sure we have all the right pogs here. Okay, I just kind of look around. This is nice. I've never been here. It is nice. Um... For the few people who have been here already, this is significantly more empty this time. This is just... This is a room that you just have to the group of you. Well, it's gun held in Ferris, correct? Yes. Yeah. To which Faguna at this point would is still wearing... Uh, is still wearing, well, her kind of more dress uniform. Uh, she's been dealing with a lot of imperial business and politicking lately as, well, there is... The chain of command has been fairly rattled in the last little bit. Uh, once again, to kind of remind everybody of what Faguna looks like, it's both... All the Celestines, if this were kind of the Earth equivalent, they would look like they were from kind of the uh, just region around India. Um, dark hair, one of the main things distinguishing her from her, well, her identical sister now is that she has both of her eyes. One of which being just kind of a dark brown and the other... 
now that you've you've kind of been attuned and brought to it, realize that it does have that silvery platinum look to it. And she looks and kind of calls everybody in and then looks around and well it seems that every time your group emerges from the underground there's some major change in the city we have a tendency to follow trouble where it goes are there seats at this table yes or is it just a table? Oh, okay. yes. yeah it was it's a big conference style negotiation table. So yes, there are seats. Okay. Lakesh pulls one out and has to stand on it just so he can see over the table. Hunhao pulls his seat out, he climbs into it, sits down cross legged, but the arms of the chair don't quite let his knees hang out, so he's sitting there trying to make himself comfortable while smiling politely at Vaguna. And he'll just kind of sit, sit, turn the chair sideways so that she can actually sit with her tail. Alyssa nestles on the table. Chairs. So, uh, have you talked to your sister yet? I've had a brief conversation with her. I do appreciate what you did for her. That. I'm not sure she would have quite been in the right state of mind had you not been there to pull her out of it. So at least one of the members amongst your crew. Still doesn't quite change the fact that numerous branches of the Imperial hierarchy are now missing leadership. And your group's presence is a thread amongst all those missing persons. Well, you're on the right track, at least. Ilya, that Indra told me about. That is unfortunate. And who she took down with her leaves us without quite a few options. Yep. And... Has she told you about Florentine? Well... I've been, I've been told that it's likely the library will be without leadership right now. So do you want this in a no-nonsense kind of thing, or would you rather... Would I you vastly rather prefer the no-nonsense approach to this. Florentine had eyes on world domination. Mm -hmm. Through unethical, dangerous experimentation with grafting, uh, and I mean far more than even you probably are aware of, she had effectively distributed dragon blood to every member of the Empire. In a... <sighs> mad I don't want to say optimistic. Mad would be a decent thought in order to prevent them from being corrupted. Mm -hmm. However, her aspirations went far, far broader than that. Well, we are aware of the experimentation with enhancements done by the Platinum Dragon. Myself more than personally aware of it since myself and my sister are a good deal of the control in that experiment. Well, they lost a little bit of that control and started going to more extremes. Uh -huh. I meant more literal term of control. Ah, in the scientific sense? In the scientific sense. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, uh, hmm. So, 
I guess really what you're left with is an empire without a nobility. And an entire population that all could raise claim. If not handled delicately, your nation could very easily burn. Oh, it would eat itself from the inside out. We, uh, we have a recommendation. I'm listening. Have an election. Let the people vote for who they would like to see as their new emperor, since they now all have a claim to that throne. Better they argue than fight. You're not wrong there, and... Indra talked me through some of my frustrations. That... That we... had lost quite a bit of the order we worked hard to preserve, but... I'm sure she told you I'd be sympathetic to such a plan. She did indeed. That's wonderful, but it's kind of irrelevant. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to burst your bubble there. You are an extremely powerful person in this empire, but you have to understand the empire is not what we're here to save. No, I... That was the next part. She did tell me that you had a more important task in the end. The demons are coming. Made easier by, perhaps, some even sympathetic to their goals, but even with all the corruption and attempts at bringing their influence into the Empire and other parts of the world, if they don't come through here, they'll come up the tree. They are coming. The end truly is around the corner. And unless this entire continent gets its well, butts in gear, there is there will be nothing to save. We are being groomed, gardened, for an extra worldly beast that seeks only to consume. Well then. Sorry, you said you liked it no nonsense. I figured it was better to just get to the point. No, oh, no, absolutely. Well, that sounds like you won't have time to stay around and assemble elections and distribute the materials that will make our people more receptive to such a possibility. To, to be fair, we're outsiders. And relatively unknown, as far as I'm aware. If we came in and said, Ha! Now you can elect the thing. What voice of authority do I have? That has to be done internally. Mm. It's not that you're outsiders. It's that you're very, very competent. Wow. Like, Thank you. You're the first person who's ever called me that. Well... So far, you... Maybe you uh, ought to be president. Well, so far, I know you've saved at least one city, and if this is also one you've saved, that'll be discovered one way or the other soon enough. But a lot of people are dead, and I could have used good people here. Well, we can give you access to the people we can trust if that helps and Rixus despite what territorial conflicts the Empire and Grand may have is fully behind the stabilization of the Empire that's good to hear that's I don't need to be having fights with the Wizards and the Crusade when we need them more than ever but you are going to have to establish order. Mm -hmm. There is... There is the issue of the Crusade. There... 
methodology methodology might be a little less tolerable in a more democratic regime. Well, that may be for the best. Uh, Gunhill, do you want to explain why that's probably for the best to keep them as much out of this process? Yes, as soon as I remember why. Uh, Trying to fix you want to do it? <laughs> I got a character, I'm just trying to remember the details. There's the, the main crusade, capital C crusade, is potentially perhaps a bit mad about all this. But I mean, like, as in they've gone off the deep end and may actually be looking at a way to just superficially increase demonic warriors right. by sending people through. Let me try to remember and explain all that. <laughs> Thank you. Um... So she'll just kind of start with, well, it's 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 more that the crusade. Well, they're trying to go to extremes, not just to the usual extremes of that you would often see with the crusade, but they're 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 trying to well create demons. They're they're sending people through and hoping that they'll come back with something of their sanity and memories left, but if they don't, then they're either added to the demon's army or they're removed from the picture entirely. Interesting. Alright, so if that's the case, we probably should sweep through as soon as possible, arrest the crusade leadership, bring them in for interrogation. Uh, that may be difficult. It may yeah. be well, yes, simply... they are the crusade. Well, we actually have someone working on, well, I guess, internally getting evidence and, and trying to prevent them from schisming as we speak. What you may want to do is simply say that this is a local thing and you need to have the autonomy to do it. And build yeah. up that strength internally before you push them out. We also just want to avoid a larger conflict. If this starts to break out between all of you and the Crusade, then we're just putting not just the city, but maybe the larger continent at risk. And this is a time where we need to be unified. You're not wrong. Unity is why we took the side we did against Florentine. If we just wanted direct result, if we just wanted a unified continent for the sake of a unified continent. Florentine's plan was, and he kind of looks over at Lissy, uh, would you say efficient? <laughs> well, it certainly would have worked. It that... would have put everything under Florentine's control. Every yeah. aspect of that sounds like Florentine. She seemed like the uh, micromanaging type. And she had a gauntlet on her wrist that would allow her to influence people. That's real micromanagement. <laughs> like puppet string level very, micromanagement. Yeah, very literal micromanagement. Hmm. All right. That we can deal with. If you have people on it, I suppose that's that big demonic looking fellow yeah him mm. also Lockhart seems sympathetic to at least the more general goal he is not as extreme as some of the other leadership Lockhart is always been reasonable it's in part why they kept him posted here Yes, well, I think he will understand and be willing to give you at least a little bit of space, as long as you don't push too deeply into that and work more as a, a re-establishing your nation. I think they should give you the space you need, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't invite their curiosity, if you know. No. What I mean. Which is why we can't exactly 
put a wedge between well any of us right now or if we're going to bring this to democratic elections we need the people to trust in the process definitely you have no strength without the people and now that everyone has claim well I don't envy the fact that it will be difficult for you to explain that to the general populace but we need to start moving on our leads are already taking us far afield from here. Well, that's good because then there's the questions of external threats as well as the internal ones. We have a missing diplomat. Which which diplomat? That would be Andreas Zexel, who went missing. Oh, he's on a dragon. It's cool. He'll be yeah. okay. It's complicated. Uh, he took care of your platinum dragon problem, let's put it that way. Oh, oh, so you gave the dragon mistress a platinum dragon? No, we gave Well, we didn't Zexel. give it to her. Yeah. We gave it to Zexel. Zexel and them have kind of a hate-hate relationship. But they both seem motivated by the same desire. And neither one of them is particularly happy with how the dragon princess... Or dragon... What? Queen? Princess? Mistress. Consort? Mistress? mistress? There we go. Yeah. Grey uh, I want it to be a princess now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, handled the relative situation, so I'm not sure he's a concern, but certainly I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about him interrupting with your immediate process. All that political stuff outside your nation is going to have to wait. You have allies. You have control for the most part you have authority and you have a moment that you can try to bring peace and prosperity back to your nation other threats you will just have to come back to i'm sorry but i'm not saying that what i'm worried about is not that i can just put them aside and come back to them what i'm worried about is an invasion that i doubt Not even the dragon mistress would do something so stupid knowing how close the end is. Don't think. People have interesting ideas of unity if you show weakness. Well, don't show weakness. Right now, nobody knows this except for you, Indra. Mostly you and Indra. Which brings us to the next question. We need a new librarian in a hurry. I know one. Yeah, he'd be better there than where he is right now, wouldn't he? I think so. Although, <laughs> it'll be pretty interesting if... Uh... Okay, yeah. Um, I think Rixus should do it. Oh, I, I thought you meant Orlando. Is it Rixus oh! kind of politically involved at the moment? Yeah. Whereas Orlando is a state employee? Oh, well, he'll hate that. Yeah, all right, okay. Oh. <laughs> he'll hate that? I, oh, oh. Hmm. He'll really he's hate that. He can't do anything. Either. He can't do anything other than have access to loads and loads and loads of books. He's <laughs> That's what Rixus was for. Oh, hmm. Uh, but he is probably the best person for the job. Wait, uh... So what are what are the requirements for the librarian? Like, what do they need to be capable of doing? Well, they need to be able to handle essentially the internal and external processes of one of the largest vaults of knowledge, as well as numerous administrative tasks across the empire. But that's all. They just need to be. They need to be able to handle administrative tasks for the most part. Well, they're. The best way to say it is they're both... Do they need to be magical? He kind of waves his hand in like sort of a, a half circle. <laughs> Not necessarily. They just need to be interested in pursuing knowledge and a capable bureaucrat. Bureaucrat. Okay, team huddle. <laughs> Makesh gets on top of the table. I'm here. 
The huddle is just actually Lissy and Melkesh, and everybody else is just standing in place. <laughs> um, so, Gregory? Or Delilah? Gregory's probably the better bureaucrat. Delilah's Delilah. probably the more knowledgey. Does it have to be just one person? I mean, librarian. I assume one. Well, I think they ought to do it together. But we may need one of them for another job. We've got plenty of people for other jobs. We'll okay. just get Morton Oker. It's at this point Hunhao remembers that Delilah is both an agent and direct employee of the Elf Queen. Oh, then we can't do that. <laughs> but Hunhao has to say something, but he is in the bathroom, so... <laughs> right, the decision is made then! <laughs> We've replaced Hunhao with a cutout of Hunhao. Let's see how the audience <laughs> the <responds>. cardboard cutout. <laughs> So Gregory then, <laughs> using information not available to Malkesh. <laughs> oh, I like that ship. Well, you can still ship it. It just can't work together on that job. <laughs> Gregory's already basically an Empire citizen, right? Yep. Okay. So, Gregory? I do think that your Orlando plan was quite amusing. Well, I mean, I didn't think he'd hate it. I figured he'd just be able to putz around in the library forever, but I guess you're right. That is kind of... Yeah, and would he hate it? Well, the, li so. the library did is also the one that has been okaying and creating the shipyards. And I assume that, well, Florentine was certainly putting things into production, so. I figure Orlando could still, you know, be somewhat scientific. In I might, you and, might enjoy that then. I mean, the book return would constantly explode, but, you know. And putting then, putting Orlando in charge of the library significantly strengthens the Imperial Navy. <laughs> but really kills book checkout times. They're <laughs> 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 just people jammed in the ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. Someone return <laughs> Someone returns a book, Arlando picks it up. Ah, perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I That's mean, all I got. If, if the Empire is on our side, a significantly stronger Imperial Navy is a good thing. If the Empire is not on our side, it's not, so... I think the the Empire is okay with us right now. I don't know yeah. why my voice cracked there. What, what, uh, what's left of it, yeah. Gregory is on our side. He's a little more... Uh, don't want to but then is he not kind of crusadery? Is Gregory crusadery? Gregory is actually Imperial Guard. Oh, I thought he was one of Carnifex's little minions. He was assigned to Carnifex as a communications <laughs> <Yes>. officer. <laughs> I see. I mean, that sounds like a bureaucrat to me. As much as it would be amusing to have Orlando in charge of the library, he's... I just, I don't imagine that going well long term. <laughs> he's not the most practical option. To be no. fair, he can just stay in where he's at. It's this like is why I thought Rixus, but thing. if Rixus is involved in all of the politics, then... Well, yeah, he's, he br basically runs Grand Ned Ostrom, doesn't he? You know, he's the high counselor right now. He does have the advantage of he did that job before. True. <laughs> yeah. But I don't imagine a lot of the Imperial people would be happy to see 
At least until things are on a little more stable footing between the Empire and Grand Nadostrum. I can think of one Imperial person who wouldn't be that happy. Orlando? Oh, yeah! No, yeah, that's probably a good point, actually. Then we'd have that mess to sew it out again. I think Gregory's the most beige choice. <laughs> He's definitely the most oh. beige choice. Poor Gregory. He's lovely. I mean, it's a big promotion for the guy. Well, he's just started a new family, so I suppose. He needs a raise, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you can raise a baby in the library. I'm sure that will be safe. If it were well, any other library. Living in it. <laughs> Where did you think they stayed? Like, I assume he's paid and has a house somewhere. N no? <laughs> They're not just sleeping in the library. <laughs> you just... You have the quarters in the library. They just sleep in the, in the racks, right? Where do you right? think people stay? <laughs> <laughs> but how do, you, how do you think, you know, they keep all the books safe? They have guards. Big mage guards, remember them? Oh. oh, I just figured they slept in the same place. Is this like an Othby thing? Book people thing. I'm Book sure Rick <laughs> spent plenty of nights in the library. That's yes, not but the he was thing, high. <laughs> Actually, Rixus is a bit weird. Rixus is probably more sober than both Orlando and Lissy. Is he? Uh, actually, technically... We never really discussed that. Technically, Lissy's the odd one out right now. Yeah, good point. But yes, Rixus is known for being a... a Keep bit of a... I was about to say a bit of an odd duck. <laughs> But he's not a duck, he's a penguin. <laughs> One Between... of those angry looking penguins. That one was just foul. Between. <laughs> God damn it. Between. <laughs> yeah. Between not having huge substance abuse problems, uh, being a little bit more interested in theory than doing, and not going by our Ixus. Rixus. Yes, he is a bit of a a strange duck. Penguin. Oh, Ping duck. All right, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll agree with Gregory if everybody else does. Yep, that works. It seems all right. So uh, we thought about it, and we know a bureaucrat. All right, shoot. Gregory. Currently assigned to Carnifex as a communications officer. That is uh, a fairly massive promotion. Well, yeah, but at least you don't have to worry about him trying to take over the world. This is true. It's Gregory is fairly easy to keep on a leash. He's usually the first person to tell us what we're going to do is a terrible idea, so you know he's stable. Yeah, and we've kind of put him through hell lately. Yes, and this is a giant favor you're doing for him. Well, he's expecting a family. She just kind of looks and shakes her head. All right, I'll see to that and try to make it look like I'm not just installing a Imperial Guard pawn. I mean, if you need to, make it as a temporary position and have elections. I don't know. Or applications, but at least for now you have someone there. That's fair. That's more than fair. Acting Imperial Head Imperial Librarian Takashi Gregory. And definitely he'll help he'll help keeping this whole election running on kilter and well communicated. 
Right. His absolutely. I would say, how do we deal with the nobility? But there's none left. Nope. Well, mostly. You have talked to your sister, yes? Mm-hmm. And you know that that needs to stay hidden, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm not going to say any more then. My sister and I are seen as triumphs of the underclass. Between us and Gregory, we at least have some of the people. The weight of the people on our side starting out. And I know your background is military, but you do need to try and be careful. There are going to be people who don't like this idea. Oh, absolutely. And stomping down too hard will make it seem like you're trying to take control. So you may have to use a soft touch. Nobody likes a military coup. No, it's, it's definitely not fun for the whole family. But there's people that have bought their way into these houses and having suddenly lost power, they're not going to be particularly willing to give it up. I do have some ability to work subtly. Well, that's that's good. We're very bad at it. <laughs> Which is why yes. we're leaving. <laughs> yes, we are. Not for lack of trying, just it happens. Either way, it's not our place for this country to, to build up this country. No. But it is this country's place to assist you if you are stay, oh, to save the world. Which is good to hear, because after we get back, we kind of need to have every major leader on the continent come together. That's... Preferably in some place stable and run by a currently elected leader. Yes, I don't that think would be good. This, you know, guys. What was that? I don't think she's paid enough for all of this. Nope, but that's how it is. She's effectively, without any like direct leadership as controller of the military, she's pretty much in charge now. Who's really gonna argue with her? Well, that's the thing. No one can. She has the force behind her. She could argue, and this is out of character, could arguably take complete control of the country, but it doesn't yep. seem like that's her desire. And in the short term, she's going to have to take complete control of the country. But she has to also give it up, and that's the part we haven't seen yet. Out of character, of course. You did, you did get my sister thinking, though. Well, thinking's not a bad thing. And to be honest with you, we have no issues with anyone... I mean, in sh what we, well, I guess I should ask, what's she thinking? She is... And I quote... Wants to leave the nature of how the world will be run. That's more my category. But she is very concerned about this no world being left to run. Well, good. So are we. <laughs> Which means... You are going to need some backup for what you're doing. And you do need to get everybody on one page. And I think it's better to begin that process now than before, but... She's... Volunteered to head a cross-factional... Task force, so to speak.
It's not visible behind the goggles, but Malkesh's eyes go wide a little bit. Well, that sounds good. That sounds How many factions? Good. Well, right now, from the sounds of it, we have the Empire. As long as we stick, to, as long as we can keep it together. And I'm assuming from who you brought to the table, you can probably bring Grand Nadostrum and the Orclans into it. Yes. If they're willing to work. That shouldn't be a problem. I can certainly speak for the Orclans. I'm sure they'd be happy to help. Um, as far as the Allied Kingdoms are concerned, we have your father, right, Gunheld? Yes, that's true. Well, he's more associated with the Wildlands, isn't he? That little um, upstart country down south. Well, you are currently a little upstart com- country right now, <laughs> honestly, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Well, it's support either way. No, you're, the biggest concerns, at least, hold. She's. She didn't tell me exactly who. But apparently, this wasn't entirely her idea. She was approached by somebody who assured her that, at least for the time being, when everything needed to get together, the criminal element could be kept under control. That sounds a lot like Casey, doesn't it? That does. This is where strange, confused, concerned looks over at Ferris happen, but he's not here. Which... Mostly as sure as that, as long as we have enough wealth, we can probably buy the partners in. It's not what you want to hear, but the Lich is in full support of this. That's... and she does, like, she gives... the exact same kind of concerned look Malkesh would have gave Ferris moments ago. That's a powerful ally, and considering some of the magic, that makes sense. Yeah, he's really kind of tired of this experiment of his not working out, so he's at least rooting for us, if nothing else. The main concern is... There's numerous minor powers we can bring into it. But we don't have the insurances that the gray that the gray worm and the allied kingdoms won't attack or will even join us. And no assurances that well the past few years of isolation on the Elf Queen's part isn't going to continue. Well, I can tell you that one way or another, the Elves will eventually be involved, but maybe not in the way we want. But we do at least have, well, one, one representative from the tree. I'm... I mean, Han can you can you speak on that subject at least? I don't know. I haven't had much contact with my people, to be perfectly honest. Well, I guess we'll have to add that to the list. Mm, definitely. Well, I think our next step is... Are we going again? The, the Dragon Graveyard? 
Is that right, folks? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what our next quest is. Gunhild slightly hesitant, but then says, Yeah, I think that was, that was it. We have at least a few leads to find out there, and then I imagine we'll be back around. I hope that when we come back, you all have forged a very firm seat of power here. Because the coming battle is not going to be easy. Gonna... We won't survive it. No. Well, I might. Look, Ash just kind of looks over and wants to be like, yeah, but just doesn't have it in him to, to say that. <laughs> So this is... kind of picks up on and actually just adds like you know yeah I think I think we might but that's no reason not to fight oh no we, we need to we don't have a choice absolutely we can either do something oh, or I die quietly or... surviving it not dying in it Makesh just kind of sighs. Honestly, I don't belong in this world. I've done lots of horrible things, and if we can save it, at least maybe I can make something of this life. But I started off on the bad foot and, well, just kind of kept tripping over it. I'm not That's concerned not about them, okay. I'm sorry, I just... This thought that we'll no, survive it's, it's... and this will be happy in the long run, I just... I can't see that. It's not that. It's, you've made so many strides to try to make up for that. And it, well, sorry, I shouldn't say that now's not the time. It's just, you still belong here. Oh, no, I'm not... I'm not planning on leaving anytime soon, but when it comes to the final battle, we have a job to do, whether we make it back or get back through the portal either way. Malkesh is right. coming back with us. Well, yeah. If I'm going to make it, then you're going to make it. I, I hope that's right. I really do, but you'll have to realize we're not building this world for us. And we need to prepare ourselves one way or another for that realization. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to be depressing. I just, I think it's that point that we say this as frankly as possible. Our next step is one of our last few before, well, before the Seat of the Oracle. Which, yeah, that's... Vaguna just kind of speaks. That is probably another good reason to bring, well, the elves and the Dragon Mistress on board... I don't think you're going to be able to punch through to that particular place, sky or sea, without the help of everybody. Oh, we know. That's why we didn't want all of them to be dead and the Empire controlling it before we had to come ask. Hopefully, when the time has come, everyone will see the need to ignore these little petty squabbles, at least temporarily, and work together. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot who have tried and failed. A lot of realities consumed before ours where even doing everything right was not enough. And what's sad is the closer we get 
the more voracious our foe becomes. They want us to fight back. It makes us... Well, it makes us something to them. Something that they want from us. A tastier morsel. That was how they described it, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't like to think of it that way. Well, if they want us to fight back, it's our job to make sure they re they regret that want. Agreed. They think of us as a tasty morsel. So let's make sure they choke on it. Let's make sure they never get that morsel to begin with. I'll do what I can here. And we'll set up what we can to make sure that this task force is well equipped, has a mobile base of operations. But you're still going to be operating independently. What we can give, we can't just march into either of the territories we need to bring on our side. We don't want to accidentally spark a war. Nor, and forgive me for putting it this way, nor while we try to build a democracy on a slightly manipulated secret, do I want to invite two of the factions with the greatest espionage systems into our back door. Well, I think that's why it's important to act fast on removing them from the picture. Agreed. And I don't mean militarily, I mean quite plainly having them on your side. Knowing that the Emperor... Well, you know. Um, is irrelevant if a power structure already exists. It can of course be used as divisively, but... It has less teeth than if you were in the middle of the process. No. I understand. This... This is the opportunity that nobody in the Empire has to suffer like we did. This is the opportunity to build a better Empire. But it's a very, very tight window. It is. That's why we came to you. You and your sister. I'm sure she's going to push herself to get up and on the go before she possibly should. But I'm confident she'll be able to provide the assistance you need. I hope the rest of your allies commit the same way. get everything we've got. Now, if you excuse me, I have a country to stabilize. Good luck with that. Sincerely, good luck. I'm sorry this time I can't bring you all up from underground and make sure everybody knows what you did. In this case, yeah. it's better. Yeah. We're not in this for the fame. We're just trying to do what's right for this world. I don't have a problem with the fame, but the fact of the matter is it would be damaging to your attempt to reestablish. I mean, Excellent. if they knew outsiders were the ones partially responsible for this, then... The, the best no. thing I can say is if you make it seem like heirs of the Empire and people of the Empire caused this, and they're already gone, then you can rebuild internally. And it also gives you a good case externally for fixing it. Oh, absolutely. I am I have to speak with Arlando. He can probably fabricate something to make it look like whatever happened in the library was a technical error, an experiment gone wrong. Lockhart? Um, you're not wrong there. Lockhart, if he's as cooperative as you're insisting, 
Well, maybe we can use the corruption of the nobility to explain our change in system. And it doesn't sound like you're going into easy skies either. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, yeah. We're going to need it. To you as well. And she stands up and she goes to leave through the back door and then just stops and turns around. Once again, thank you for saving Indra. It wasn't her time. And I think she has and, a lot of good she can do. And she nods, and then she leaves. Well, that went well. Better than I expected. Although Vaguna has always been reasonable-ish. Eh, she's a bit of a firebrand. Eh, yeah, but a, a reasonable firebrand. She's doing what she thinks is best for the people she serves. She's the one dating I can No, it's the other one. It's the other one? It's the other one, I know. Oh, okay. So Carnifex isn't getting some Vaguna? No! <laughs> Look, it's really hard to tell triplets apart. Just ask your party member, Fizz Finnegan. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> you were all thinking it. <laughs> I'm just going to go wow. back to not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for that opportunity. <laughs> it was perfect. Ouch. Okay, so um, I guess we need to tell Gregory he has a very big job to fill now. Yeah. I'm not sure what if else? this is a good thing for him, or we're just going to lead him to a very early heart attack. Probably a little bit of both, but um, after we tell Gregory, what else needs to get done? Just trying to organize things. Uh, group dinner. Shawarma. <laughs> yeah, we get some shawarma. <laughs> and then, I guess I've we... never had shawarma. Get some fantasy falafel. Fantasy halal, like a random street cart. Yeah. <laughs> instant, instant. <laughs> uh, okay, well, then I guess we need to collect. Well, does boat fly yet? <laughs> yeah, that's something you had to solve. We, we gotta fly somewhere, and I don't think Orlando's gonna lend us one. Ooh! Um, he might. Uh, okay. Um, oh, with yeah. some, with some, uh, with some modifications, I'm sure that I could actually make one better. Oh, good lord. Well, I mean... The most terrifying words to hear out of an Akbi. I can make it better. Malkesh can help. Oh, God. The second most terrifying words you could hear come out of an Akbi. It's gonna be a flying monster hunter ship with the ribs around. <laughs> the keel that was exactly what I was thinking. You read my mind. Just throw in a quiet... Ship. quiet. So I heard a, a noise wind. outside. I'm gonna go check it out. You said They're you wanted to build more reason. people. Well, yeah. I this mean, is just a very big person, isn't it? I just 
really wanted to spend time with you more than anything. Well, but... yeah! Well, this is us spending time together. Okay, that works. Dan? <laughs> Suddenly, NPC Dan walks around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you there! <laughs> Get me one of the ships! <laughs> hey, my name's Dan. You may remember me from... <laughs> remember from Voices of the Wilderness, a 13th Age adventure. It was every Sunday. Everybody's like, your voice sounds very familiar for some reason. <laughs> we've heard you with everyone we've talked to. <laughs> So, I guess out of character, the question is, are there space whales? <laughs> there are now. <laughs> space white whale, space holy grail. Well, if we're going to go to a bone yard... We have to take a bone ship? <laughs> well, well, you need to get to the bone yard first. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can oh make modifications God. to the ship here, and then make it okay. into a bone ship once we well, leave. you know, we are somewhat ignoring the fact that the person who originally knew how to do this is the person Orlando stole it from. I think what we're all ignoring is that uh, you need to take the bone ship to the bone yard in the BONE ZONE! Oh my god. <laughs> in the galaxy <laughs> zone! Can everybody tell that Ferris is not here at the moment? I can! <laughs> when the bone ship is rocking. <laughs> well, I was you just not I feel like everybody aboard the bone ship, because... <laughs> oh no, we are not calling it the bone <laughs> ship anymore. <laughs> I like shipping. <laughs> I don't need lemons. Wow! <laughs> 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 Hey, <laughs> hey, viewership! Are you okay? <laughs> That's just I'm your fine. reminder that everybody in this spot in, in this stream have both been on the internet a long time and are old. <laughs> anyway, I, I think that all I can say is anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I think we have options, but we do need to decide on one of them. <laughs> Gunhill leans in. What does Citrus have to do with any of this? <laughs> well. Hon is just like, oh, I love lemons. <laughs> <laughs> Scruffy the janitor walks in and goes, y'all still using the conference room? <laughs> oh, I guess that means we have to leave. We booked it for the full hour. Did you fix that boiling toilet yet? There was a boiling toilet? Well, he uh, only does boilers and toilets. There we go. Alright, so I've been having a lot of trouble with the plumbing in the library lately. I think the whole basement's flooded. <laughs> yes, it is! <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, we got an apartment to talk at. Let's, let's go there. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm not uh, going to finish that. Own apartment? No, <laughs> it's not. Well, <laughs> hmm. I mean, it could be. <laughs> Thinking. I mean, how long would it take to build a ship using necromantic magic and an Ockby? <laughs> that does it have to be necromantic? Yes. What the hell is necromantic? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. I can't remember if that was a word. I mean, yeah, I unless you've got some uh, dragon magic that makes things fly <laughs> or builds things. I'm good with wood magic. All right, now we're just as bad as bone magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they need to use the wood magic on the bone ship. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good lord! Never mind. When so, I said when I said we were old, I was wrong. We're three. We're three we're, years we're, old. No, we're like at least thirteen. <laughs> yeah, around that age. 
God, I have kids that old. Uh, so I guess out of character, Dan, is there anything that flies that's big in this setting? I don't know, you tell me. Ah, uh, shit. I mean, there's flying ships. There's dragons. Yeah, but we're not there's gonna Beyonce. find dragon bones around. <laughs> dragon bone ship, you say? But we're not gonna find any dragon bones around here. You are, in fact, literally need this ship to fly to the place where you can find all of yeah. the dragon yeah. boats. Well, I might as well modify one of our Londo ships, then. You think you, think you can just, after what we, what we told him, you think he'll be able just to walk into his office and ask for another ship? I didn't say we'd ask him. I think we should just oh. take him. No. Um, no. What? Hard no. What? That's a no. He's not so many! If we just take one, he'll not Lissy, notice. Lissy, Lissy, I'm gonna pick you up and carry you places. You keep up this line of thought. What? I'm gonna pick you up and take you out of the room. It's not technically illegal. Yes, it is. It's yes, very it is. illegal. <laughs> we're just, we're just confiscating it to save the world. Thank you very much. No. That's the excuse no. for everything that we no, can use. No, I. That's, that's it. I'm picking. Here. That's this I'm is picking. So that I can save I'm picking the world. Lissy up. I'm picking Lissy up. And I'm carrying her out of the room. And that chair over there, I need to confiscate that because now I'm going to save the world. You know what? Actually, I don't trust her on her room, on her own outside of the room. So I'm just going to carry Lissy. <laughs> Keep her out of trouble Thank if you. I carry her. Can we steal a ship, Dad? No. No, we cannot. Out of character, <laughs> can we steal a ship? Out of character, no, no we cannot. <laughs> Mokesh reaches over, grabs the baby carrier, hands it to Hanel. No! <laughs> Alright, let's go at... I only imagine that Dan, the character, is just sitting in the room with us and Lizzie just asks. Alright, we're putting up. Dan's been here the whole time. What are you talking about? Bjorn. There's no Dan, the character. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Dan was the janitor. Not yet. No, that was Scruffy. Scruffy Dan. Yeah, it's Scruffy Dan, the janitor. So, I steely Dan cover band. <laughs> I was really trying hard not to make that joke. <laughs> All right. Yes, you actually have gone on a, a diplomatic rampage and put everything together, but you do need to get a flying ship so you can. Well. Get to the next part of the game. Serious question, Dan. Yes. How hard would it be to drive off with the Halcyon? That's stealing a ship. Well, first, <laughs> of, first of all, you have to get out of the baby Bjorn. <laughs> That's going to be Lissy's first step. No, no, no. I'm 100% serious. Why would we steal it? We could probably ask and, like, properly borrow it. But he might say no. Well, that's why we go over his head. <laughs> but then he'll just be mad. If we steal it, <laughs> he'll just have to accept the fact that we... we no! We just he'll... If we steal it, then we've just effectively done both of those things. Oh my god. Listen, what about our walls? What? Those big flying things, they're like whales, but they float. They're fat, got lots of, like, kilo blubber in them. Okay. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're I, big. Wait, yeah, okay, where are you going with this idea, Malkesh? Well, are they migrating through this area at this time? No, I, I think they're extinct. Oh, right. Right. Wait. You can't Possibly suggesting. Oh! Are you talking about raising one? Yeah. Okay, where would we find one? Uh. It depends on how deep we want to dig. Well, alright. I, I think they've been extinct no, no. for several thousand uh, years. Wait, hold up. Hang on. Wait, me... No, hold up. How much of one do you need? 
I mean, 70%? Would bones just do? Bo bones. Well, yeah, that's mostly what I'm looking for. That's all that's okay. going to remain anyway. Um, why don't we go get our new head librarian put in place and then see if the library has any fossils Ooh, that we might be choice. able to utilize? That we might be able to borrow. These are these are scientific research things. We're gonna need to bring them back eventually. What in one piece? Preferably, yes. I think stealing something. No, no. We're not stealing. No. We're using political favors to blackmail a emotionally vulnerable man. <laughs> That's not a lot better. Actually, I, I think this might be the best way to go, and, unless you all got a lot of shovels. They've been extinct for several thousand years. I don't think I have. I didn't say I was think that much. entirely opposed to it. Just, it's not a lot better. Well, I mean, it's not so much blackmail as asking nicely of someone who's relatively has a hard time saying no when backed against a corner. Oh, I'm gonna feel bad. Well, about we this don't have a lot of time to argue this. Right, onwards and upwards, then. Improvisational bullshit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you return to the mages' quarter and to the house. Um, you were actually at the point where quite a few of the. Uh, the visiting uh, mages have packed up and are, have moved their ha they've moved their stuff outside. Can we say that uh, Hun Hal was able to pick up a bottle of champagne on the way home? Yes. Okay. Oh, Hun Hal can do his thing. I bought this with money. You didn't tell them you were saving the world. Uh, no. <sighs> Missed opportunity. We'll get you drinks later, Lissy. Can, do, can we get, like, an Akbi, like, pacifier for the Akbi and the Baby <laughs> that, Bjorn? That well, you did lose. just buy a, a bottle, bottle of, of champagne. Rum. It's, just, yeah, it's just a bottle of rum with a little nib on it. <laughs> <laughs> like the ones that they use to feed birds when, like, they're sick. Yeah. I hate you all so much. <laughs> she just stands by and bobs up and down. <laughs> Melkesh just sort of walks into the room the door opens and he just immediately points at Gregory Gregory! <laughs> Gregory looks and like what do we need lunch? congratulations Gregory <laughs> wait I'm a librarian? I'm well, a new librarian the librarian T-H-E the new the head librarian. librarian and then the Hun Al the, uh... pops the top on the bottle of the champagne what? Congrats! We know you always wanted that. Gunhill like leans over. You're supposed to shake it up first. Oh, Hun Al starts shaking. The <laughs> <champagne. laughs> it's just so there's just this image of Gregory just standing there, slack jawed. It's like Hun Al is just like one handedly like like <laughs> something Spencer style, everywhere. just flinging droplets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, you really need to take the emperor back to uh, Indra. You're dropping a lot on me right now. What if Gregory steals Carnifex's girl while he's gone? I don't think that's gonna happen. But you don't know what happens when a man passes a baby to a to a woman. Neither do I you, you're a bird. I don't think he passes a baby to a I woman. I mean, human mating rituals are really weird, but I don't think that's involved. Really? Uh, so that's how they have babies. Oh, now, just as this conversation is happening... <laughs> okay, just has to stop and think. As this conversation is happening at Hunhao Shins, he just tips the bottle of champagne back and starts drinking straight from it. So, uh, 
uh, Takashi, friend, uh, Gregory, uh, yeah, um, we need your help. Okay. So, as the new acting, potentially temporary, uh, grand librarian of the Imperial Library, uh, do you have any bones? Uh, I mean, they have bones. Like they have to be big bones. bones. Big, big bones. Airwall bones. You should have started with that. Yeah, I, yeah, I think we have one of those. We need it. For a traveling display. Makesh's ears perk up. Big pointy teeth. <laughs> Suddenly, Malkesh uh, devolves back into his huckster, trickster. You you do know I have been traveling with you for a little bit now. Uh, it doesn't matter. We still need those bones. <laughs> what are you going to do with the bones? Probably reanimate them and fly with them across the countryside. Uh, Malkesh makes finger guns at Hana. Why? Why are you reanimating the bones to fly? Because it was a better plan than stealing the Halcyon. Yes. Okay. It's not correct. Here, is it? He's not left the keys in the in the ignition. Maybe. Imagine they use something more complicated than keys, wouldn't they? Oh God, no! I think really? it would be guarded. Everybody likes keys. I think it'd be like multiple keys. Okay. Hey, sequence or something. Okay, no, wait, okay. Let's 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 walk this back here, Gregory. The Halcyon's a fully crewed ship. Meaning yes. that's you're not stealing it, you're creating a mutiny. Uh, we're actually trying to we're we're trying to avoid that is why we need the bones. We don't want to yeah. have a mutiny. Although... No. No. Yes, let's let's not start a political incident between the Empire and Grand Adostrum on my first day as the fucking Grand Librarian. Did he He's taken to it really well. Wow. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Gregory. You know Would you Gregory like some champagne? Like the way that he is. It's good champagne. Would you like some? No. I don't. I don't well, want a lot of things right now. <laughs> see, that's why we want we want the bones. It's it's a much more well. It doesn't require any killing or stealing. We just need you to write a pass for a traveling exhibit. Which, that's not a lie, because it will be on full display. Kind of. So so, what are you gonna do? Just. Reanimated and climb in its mouth. That's, that's best not to ask, Gregory. No, right? really. The less details we you know, the better. Well, I mean, I can choose. Okay. I don't well, we mind talking you, about my but... work, but you know. Do you... Honestly, I'm kind of curious what Malkesh plans myself. I'm also morbidly curious about what this is going to entail. Arter speaks up. I'm, I'm curious as this was the process that led to me. <laughs> This is exactly the same uh, process actually, that led to you. No, no, hey, hey, hold on. Unless you're an expert, cut it out. Okay. Arter, no. It's not how you're made. You were made with love. This is an expedient thing. You literally made him because you were too impatient to make a full-size body. Ah, but it worked. Because he didn't want us to know. Look how cute he is. And then you, like, deliberately... You know what? Never mind. Just continue. Dude, it's the spirit of a grand savior of the continent in a cute little frog body. What's your problem? You know all of my problems with this. Well, you We've already got your this cake. Several <laughs> times. You're gonna have to make so many cakes. Listen, this isn't hurting anyone. It gets us where we're going, and we can always return the bones later. Some assembly may be required. Also, we're not really fully reanimating it. We're just technically giving, like, animation to the bones. 
So it's not like Arthur. Archer, Archer, I, it, 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 it is. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Makesh accidentally bites his lip with a sharp teeth and can't speak for a second. Uh, <laughs> Archer is uh, actually a true full soul inhabiting a mechanical structure. Whereas this will be just bones that are brought into an active semblance of life that we will then improve the structure on mechanically. In other words, we can make an air wall, but we can't make an air wall move forward, if you know what I'm saying. Oker slams his fist on the table. Graft the boat to it! That's what we're doing! Yes! I mean, Literally, we need the bones to provide the lift. At that point, we need a forward momentum. And that's what oh. I don't have. Because bones, which used to be fins, don't push forward very well anymore. They make decent rudders, but they don't propel like they used to. So you see where we're going with this? Uh, Gregory just looks, okay, this this will probably take some time since I'm sure there's a whole bunch of things I need to run to the library and meet up with and find out what's going on about yeah, right now. I'm sorry. I mean, it was to kill Florentine, so it was kind of worth it, but... Oh, we didn't tell him that yet, did we? Shit. <laughs> Alright, where do I send been the bone? a little bone? more subtle about it. Um, where do I send the bone? Uh, I guess if we're gonna also build a boat, we need a dock of some sort. We right. have a warehouse. Don't, do what we about where there? we parked the uh, high fish? We Couldn't we, Can we... Co incorporate the high fish since we've already got a boat into the boat? Do you know how hard it is to work with animated bones in water? It's a pain in the ass. We could bring it into a dry dock. Well, we I'm have sure a dry dock back at the other factory, at the uh, warehouse. Or we could make a dry dock at the other warehouse. Yeah, well, oh. let's go to the warehouse. We can store the bones there, dry dock, and we can work the high fish into the, the super high fly doodly fish. So I guess send the bones to Nero Hama? Care of Instant Cake Co.? We never changed that name, did we? Can we please not make That's a okay, ship I shoot a instant keg? Well, I mean... <gasps> It'll be big enough to put the instant keg machine on! <laughs> oh. Yes, it will! Hunhow knocks back the rest of the bottle of champagne. Only, instead of cake, it's probably going to be fuel. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. It was designed for that originally, wasn't it? Yes. Oh. So much to for use fuel, cake. I would hope so. Never gonna taste the same afterwards. Well, I don't know. Wait, the fuel won't taste it. the same? No, the, 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 the cake won't taste the same. Oh. It requires a really serious cleaning after you go from fuel to cake making, I think. I'm not big on the mechanical things. Did you clean it the first time? Oh! Um... No! No, we didn't. <laughs> so if it was originally intended for fuel, then... Well, I, the I cake... guess I just assumed the former goblin cleaned it. In hindsight, oh! that probably was a big jump of logic to make. So the cake actually will not... Cash. The cake will not not taste never the same again. It will actually taste the same as it always has tasted. Wait, so you're saying it wasn't rum cake? It was, was uh... fuel cake? <laughs> Why are we not just drinking the fuel of it? <laughs> oh, let's not start drinking fuel. I'm, I'm waiting for an Acme to provide response. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking fuel for years, so... It's never done me any harm. How are you alive? More pipes up in the background. Oh, shit! The boat's already called the High Fish! That's real good, bud! <laughs> it's gonna be the high high fish. Okay, I'm. I'm going to attend to my new duties and bring this baby to Indra Celestine. That sounds good. 
<laughs> He's still holding also, the c- Congrats on um the like major promotion and like yeah. all the pay that goes with it. Congratulations well, on your promotion. Yeah. I brought you champagne, but I drank it all. No, well, you spilled a lot of it too. That's <laughs> that's fair. Just imagine Ambois is just cleaning the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> Just little cat and limbs going across the floor. <laughs> Riding a magical Roomba. Oh god, that'd be great. Can we get Ambo on a magical Roomba? <laughs> I just like, hey, I have wings, but this is much more... It's much more convenient. <laughs> well... It's been an interesting time. I guess I'll go be... The third most important person in the empire. Yeah, you could do that. Keep well, they did. Up. They did say it was going to be temporary because they're going to be electinating other well, people. You're the acting librarian. Yeah, acting. Also, you're probably going to have to register to vote soon, and then vote. And I'd recommend voting it'll for be, yourself. Yeah, it'd be your civic duty. Is there anybody I, I can guess. ask I to catch me up here? No. My guess just pats him on the, on the back of the leg. All right. Come on, have fun there. Baby time. Our wall bones to Instant Cake Company. In Narohama. Uh, there may be other Instant Cake Companies. I'm leaving now. Be. Just look look for the one with the least amount of quotation marks around it. I'm leave I'm I'm opening the door. Closing the door behind me. Goodbye, friend. I'm sure we can sue if there's another cake company. You hear from That's out the window. The I'm walking down the street towards the library. It seems Does like he, he has things in order. I'm just looking forward to when he gets like hey, around Gregory. the corner and we just hear screaming. He seems to be processing that pretty well. So how are our other favorite NPCs? (laughs) We got the whole pack here. (laughs) Everyone's here. Just bring out the whole crew of NPCs one at a time. Not you, Casey. You go back to your closet. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, that was that character. He just chugged a whole fucking bottle of champagne. He's doing great right now. Maybe if he's... Maybe maybe he'll be more susceptible to uh, Malkash and Mai's plan now that he's uh, inebriated. No. We have a plan. We're building a whale. <laughs> we are building a whale. I oh my god, it's it. going to be a whale with a boat in it with a door in it. <laughs> is... Is there any uh, is there any part in the in the little manual that you gave me that will help with uh, no. the construction of this way? I mean, <laughs> there's nothing in that book that would help anybody. Like... Uh, no. this is, we're gonna this... have to buy new books. You need the advanced skeletons book <laughs> for ages five to seven. <laughs> 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 you know those old dinosaur bone books you could buy at like the Smithsonian? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what you need. But it's another one. Quick to the library, we're just at the gift shop and we buy one of those like model sets. <laughs> yeah. Is this like, do you do like a, like a star wipe? You show up in the library, you like buy the book, you do another star wipe in your back. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> just a book on our walls. <laughs> like, oh. where were you? You've been gone for three days. Malkesh, did it really have a horn out the front Uh, as well? I think that's a tooth. Because that would be pretty handy. I mean, yeah. But, like, how handy is the question. Also, I think it was supposed to be prehensile. Really? Yeah, they were strange creatures. Probably why they went extinct. Yeah... Well, well so I they was couldn't they about could never to it, but you know. Oh, well, I mean, there's lots of bones to attach turrets to. 
Maybe a few. They were too. big bones. I mean, they couldn't land, so they had no way of like grabbing plants. So they used their prehensile nose to grab onto plants and then eat the tops of the trees. Are you sure we don't need to give it hands? I mean, it was never given hands in life, so I don't, I don't think it would know what to do with hands. But it kind of has a tentacle nose. Does that count? It shouldn't know how to do anything, right? I mean, it should know how to float. It depends on how much sentience we want to give it. Is it like a giant sunfish? Kind oh, of. Oh, good lord. But it, it, it was able to hold on to things. And it, I mean, they, they floated mostly with the wind currents. But, you know, I mean, they weren't dumb. They just had a very simple life and had to continually eat enough plant matter to produce the gas needed to stay lifted. Out of character, I'm thinking somewhere between an elephant and a manatee that floats. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where I was yep, getting. Pretty much. <laughs> Maybe also armadillo, so it can like roll up into a big balloon when it sleeps. Just no, that's there. that's Palomo. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Using <it's> a monster. <laughs> All right, I think that is a good point to cut it for today. I think. Next session, we'll, we're going to do some maybe montage stuff just to move us forward. And sports training montage. get us out of the Empire and into the skies. Oh, yeah. Hey. I'm an <laughs> unliving dead ship. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to tinkering with that. I like how it's not just unliving, it's also dead. It is dead, it's unliving, it's fossilized. Which actually means it will be more sturdy than it was in real life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. Good night, yeah. everyone. Oh, um, make sure to tune in Monday nights at nine Eastern. Nine, nine, nine Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. Nine Eastern for Adder Jaeger. We're actually doing things again. <laughs> we are slaying heresy. It's a game that's being played. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.